a lot of pressure on Astralis right now. They, this is this is tremendously important for them. If they can make it through top two in this group, they get a spot. Well, let's see. Got to start with the pistol. They're on the T side. They've run into shocks. The grenade doesn't really do much. He's just obviously looking for a headshot, but he does not also want to get run down by the Glock train that's coming his way. Apex from on high, taking down Sip, and they're doing such a good job, just falling back, trying to see if they can maybe lure them into a fight a little bit later down the road here, and it's working. They're a man up. And now, just, again, the USP is at range. This is so well done. They actually they actually absorb the entire impact of that push just by falling back and letting them sort of run themselves out, slowly picking themselves up. It's really cool to see. Now, this is, the, this is what experience gets you. Shox doesn't get a kill, but he sets it up for his team to find yep. success. I mean, that's, that's impeccable play coming in from Shoxy. And if they, I mean, if they run in towards hell there and, and they actually find shocks they don't even have to keep going they can actually decide to go back to ramp and into the there's so much that they can do but they just they just spend all of the energy just just looking for him and it never really works out apex will find a little pistol round played perfectly i think you highlighted the real key there is that they set up the fight on their terms vitality in the end and Astralis really tried to press it, and it just doesn't work. But Astralis showing a bit of discipline here. No bomb plant. So they're going for a hard eco, essentially, in this round. A couple of P250s bought, and that's it. So really going to bank on a strong buy round in the following one. And Vitality. A lot of SMGs on their side, but uh, playing it very patiently, not getting too aggressive. See how long they can get away with this. Sam looks like he's losing patience with this. This tomfoolery on the other side. Yeah, well, they're just like, we know it's a hard eco, guys. Come on. Yeah. He's, he's just tired of this. He's like, come on. Go do something interesting. Go all the way on the T side with that UMP. In itself, a bit of a, of a non-standard choice at the moment. I like to see it. Remember when they were buying UMPs instead of rifles? Yeah. It was so strong. Interesting time. Omega's going to be going down. Misuta. He's got all the attention. They won't expect... Uh, Anything else? Maybe there would be some backup from down below, but not quite. That MP9, yeah, it was kind of close. I thought maybe he could have got there in time, but not so. Shocks will still be able to pick up the uh, double vitality side of things. Yeah, not skipping any. Uh, not skipping any. I was going to hold on to the UMP, but the uh, rifles across the board and a very strong buy actually for both of these teams, looking very good. I was setting himself up for that AWP in the next round as well. And already not wasting any time at all. Astralis right for the smoke wall. I. Hmm. They double naded that, and then the wall went down. I feel like Vitality would have to assume that if they actually were going for a fairly quick yard push there, they would have walked into the double nade. Now, we can tell that was all just for show, and Astralis are actually setting up in the lobby instead, and they're going to go pretty quick here, but let's just see if they can react in time here. Vitality shocks with one good kill, didn't get the follow-up, and now a little bit of trouble from Kyojin down here. He's feeling lonesome for some backup. Misuta is going to take down one, and actually gets the shot with the FAMAS anyway. The bomb is on the ground. He was flashed, and he's going to end up being dropped now two on two, and they have a moment here where I think they can probably get the bomb down. Bomb, yeah, but it's, it's out in the open right now. They need to get their hands on it, but they're holding. And Apex thinks this might be a lower bomb plant. They think that they're going to go for the drop. Zai was going to be able to make it up here out of heaven, though, so he is going to be a threat, and he's going to be able to tell Apex, nope, this is, in fact, an A plant. That has bought valuable time, and now with the bomb planted, the onus is on Vitality to retake. Two M4s in hand, though, so at least they have some decent firepower. Yeah, one flash. They set it up. They run in as it's going off. They don't even really wait for it. Nice shot from Apex. Leaves it all on Maze. One versus two with the AK. He goes deep into that one. That is a heavy commitment. It's a double kill for Apex at the end. He's going to go pick up the AK. And they're going to be able to win the round. So they barely survived that one. Scary stuff. But that was interesting. Maze post plant position. The bomb is not planted for him. Playing in main like that, very weird. Shocks, he's still able to, I mean, that has got to be the most egregious kill in that round. The fact that he gets one out of there. Just yeah, surrounded I, by terrorists. I mean, I think Kyojin did a, a pretty good job down there. So it was very True. easy to get overwhelmed. And obviously the double kill would have been really impressive. But just even getting one in that scenario is pretty good. Back in the mix. Full buy on both sides. Thanks to the bomb plant for Astralis. And now Zaiwu's got that AWP in hand. So the pressure is on. Smoke wall once again outside. Oh, not a perfect one, though. Apex is a little confused here. Yeah. That is weird. Did it hit the... 
there's like a little ledge, like the little the yellow part of the sidewall. Screwing up a smoke like this though is unforgivable. If you're if you're on Astralis, you're I mean, if you're Megas right now, you're just going, dude, come on. These are smokes we've been throwing for how long? Yeah. You have to know them. Even if we wake you up at three in the morning, you just <laughs> yeah. have to be able to You have to be able to throw that smoke. Geo. It's gonna be fast around the corner. That's a nice little entry. Masuta gonna be traded. This is still working out all right. Shock's very confused in that moment. There's the smoke. Yeah, they can drop down. It's all gonna be fine. And there's no one down below either for the CT side. Saiwu now just showing up with the AWP. That can be real bad news here for Astralis, but he's gonna miss the first shot. The grenade won't kill anyone either. So at the end of the day, he's fairly low on health. Saving the rifle is definitely the more important thing here. Gonna take that kill. Two versus two, but he's so low that turning it around doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, it's looking like they're gonna back and save. Okay, fair enough. Thought for a second when he gets that second kill early enough like that. I mean, there was a lot of time still left on that bomb, but no kits picked up, light on the nades. It's looking like they're gonna just save this AWP and get that rolling for the next round. And Zawu with a little bit of a quiet start on the map. It's Misuda who's doing the work for Vitality with six kills. But uh, this is it. Astralis are going to get on the board nice and early in this first half. And keep in mind, this is Astralis' map pick. They decided they wanted to take this fight on Nuke. They are going to be starting on the T side. They get to set They win like one round, then they lose a couple of rounds, but they win another one. It was a very... Very they had spotty. a clutch go against them very early on in the half as well. Yeah. I think that probably threw them off. It probably did, yeah. So I, you know, love to see Astralis put together a string around, you know, sort of make it a little bit more impressive. So we down the vent with the AWP. Didn't try and do the simple thing coming back up. This is weird though. This is interesting. Gap in the smoke. Apex versus Megas get a second here. That smoke's about to clear. Is he checking it? Not quite enough. And Apex will win the fight. That's, um, let's call that a loose check. It's like you, you sort of, you're doing it because you know you have to, but you're not really committing to it. And that can sometimes get you killed. And Suta falling back. Side was showing up, taking down Lucky as well. So now it's a five on three. This is a, a very sketchy round so far for Astralis. Pretty very low on health as well. They have ramp, but that means almost nothing. 55 seconds on the clock, a couple of smokes. And yeah, they need to somehow go down to the lower bomb site or work their way up to heaven. Apex, yep. Just like in the pistol round, he is ready and waiting. He has got this on lock. If they try and make their way up that ladder, they're dead men. So this is likely going to be going down to the lower site, and Shoxy's on a mission right now. Does Dupree spot this? He's solo. One bullet is going to do it, and timing is working out in favor of him. Shark's on a long mission, and it pays off. And now, I mean, they, they should try and just, I don't know, do some damage, save the AKs. I don't think they... Oh, wait. Okay. What? I have no idea. They both get a kill. They even find Kyojin out here. Almost getting shot at the back. 13 seconds on the clock. They get Kyojin as well. This is such a mess up for Vitality. Two versus four with almost no time left. It shouldn't even be close. Even if Shark's went down because he was going for that sort of secondary flank, that is... That's kind of unforgivable. This is, yes, this would be one of those rounds that's really going to stand out in the series. Bring the Apex count. 2v4, and somehow, yeah, Zaiwu's backing off to save. He realizes that it's an impossible situation with an AWP to retake that upper site. You're going to walk into a crossfire. They'll just double peek you, and you're a dead man. That is just wild. Uh, this is where Vitality needs to kind of take a, take a moment here, I think, to calm each other down. Because uh, they had this round 100%. It's a 2v4. It shouldn't be possible for Astralis to win it, barring some major mistakes made on Vitality's part. And, you know, Vitality, they can't be thinking like this series is done just yet. They were having a good time on Overpass, and they had a good start here on Nuke. But that doesn't mean that uh, you can take it easy against Astralis. No, definitely not. <laughs> does and credit you know actually credit where credit's due you know i like that uh, thorn had a fantastic tweet earlier uh, i've noticed that dan that. And apex actually liked it as well uh where you know just giving a lot of credit to x does for what he's done with the team and uh, bringing the french scene reviving the french scene because it is true that the french scene was looking pretty bleak until vitality uh showed yeah. up and x does has a tremendous amount to do with that their success and the vision for the team so well, like we right even talked about earlier, the, the decision to bench Apex for a while to get him back on track, I mm. mean, that, that kind of, that hint at an overarching philosophy and, and how to run it, like, that's, a, that's a good sign. You have to appreciate that. So, um, yeah, I, you've got to get some credit for that. I agree.
They're really cool. They've got that AWP that they saved on Cyber. Otherwise, it's pistols. Estrada's looking to tie things up real early on here on Nuke. And again, they could pull this one off. I mean, Inferno, the final map. It's always a good map to close out on. I'd be pretty excited. I think I would be surprised if, if Estrada's won any maps against Vitality. Uh, so I, I'm just, I'm here for that. If they can make it work. Apex, big moment there. He's been very, very strong at hitting those deagle shots. But sometimes the best opportunity is just, you know, you just can't hit those shots. Is I was going to be in for a rough time here. Kyojin overwhelmed very rapidly. That's what we expect to see. Now on Zaiwu. Easy first shot. Now he needs a second. <laughs> Just all over him. Capri continuing to spray. That's not bad. And eventually they'll win the round. Can even get the AWP if they want to, which mm -hmm. Lucky will. It's not always that people do that on the T side of Nuke, but, um, but it can be used, obviously. Just Magus shooting. No, Apex rather shooting wide on that one. Yeah. But we did have enough money saved up, so I was going to be able to get his own AWP back in the mix. So we will get that duel now on Nuke between Lucky and Zywu. Where are they going to run into each other here? Oh, I want Zywu to go up on that little roof that's on top of the garage, where you're, you're kind of all in. It's so fun Mad to see that. off angle. Yeah. Not quite uh, reached that level of madness yet. Backing on out. Is there another... Oh, my God. All right. Fair enough. They plug the gap. He's listening for it. Not able to get it. There's Bubsky gone. Shark's able to pick it up. A little bit of a team flash, it seems. Not sure how lucky. We'll go down afterwards. So, four versus three. The bomb out in the yard still. Did he spot the bomb there, though? Good question. And I think Zipnix has got the drop on Kyojin. So this should be a kill for Zip. He's gonna. He knows where Kyojin is, yep. So there's a lot of info gained here. It is a down situation. It's also down a man, but... Oh, Zipnix with the opportunity. He's still up there. There we go. Well done, well done. Yeah, not bad. If Molotov, no, it hits that metal beam at the center of the bomb site and doesn't go up. Dupree is still just spraying them down. Lead now, four to three. Astralis looking very good right now. Oh, look at Sip diving down into the vent. And it's just against pistols, but he doesn't even care. He's right down there in a second bomb. Already being attempted. Yeah, they're going to get it. That is, that's a lot of people down to the B bomb site just with no warning. Lucky got down there. Nice headshot from him as well. And I saw him, get, he got a little bit fired up with that debris quad kill. He was, he was feeling it too. Mm -hmm. And that's nice to see, you know, get, get him into the team, get the social aspect of it going in there. That's definitely important. That is a worth mentioning, you know. Clearly, as you guys can see, Astralis on boot camp right now. So important, right? Yeah, without a doubt. Five to three. The scoreline, Astralis, that's five in a row. And putting a lot of pressure, obviously, on the French economy, but generally just actually playing really well at the moment. Molotov on the hut, followed up by Molotov down behind the silos inside of the bomb site. So the entire A bomb site is catching fire. Shock spins around, flashed, and still getting the kill. Dupree comes barreling into the site. Big double kill for him. And now they're kind of blocked out. Two in mini, and they should be able to be smoked them off for a long time. They have another smoke, they have a Molotov. The bomb is going to be planted. It's going to be kind of a tricky retake here, I, I imagine. Nice grenade, but it's really the Molotovs and the, and the smokes that make the difference. There's one of them. They picked up another Molotov on Magus. They didn't have that one before, so they can keep firing. You know, this is so unbelievable. You're Done. Just back off. Yeah. You go can't, and go and probably save. can't do it anymore. So you, you little take time. This now, if you make this retake happen, it's going to be wild. The Molotov it does burn Dupree. But just listen to that timer. It is so close already. Lucky. A little bit of an angle, but he's going to go down anyway. Now it's on Magus. One versus two. He stopped that defuse. And that is the end of the round. That is, they still got really close. Credit to them, I suppose. That actually did look doable at the end. So little time to play with. And it, I mean, it worked really well, right? In another scenario, if they get, if they even lose that entry, right? It's, it's just not quite the same. But yeah, I mean, fair play to Vitality for trying to flex just a bit on them there and try and get themselves mentally back into it as well. Ooh, that is nice. Dupree just caught, obviously, Apex. No idea what he's shooting at, but turned out to be Dupree. Counter-Strike Battleships. Well, dude, listen, actually, if there's anybody you want to take out on Astralis, it's free. Yeah, he's been wild on this map, hasn't he? 14 kills so far in 10 rounds. Like, that's, uh, that's not too shabby, Anders. That's, uh, that's pretty solid. And the crazy thing is, that's kind of what we saw from Magus yesterday as well. Like, similar level. Do you want to know a secret, Semla? Hit it. Where Bubsky is standing, if he, if he turns around, I mean, we can't really make him do that, but that wall that leads into the garage, you can shoot through that from the CT side all the way out to the red container. 
think about how often people line up out there. Buy an auto sniper, just stand out there and just shoot through. Do it. Come on, guys, do it in matchmaking. Set up standards. Exactly. Apex. Ooh, but he's going to get traded. Lucky finding a very important kill there. The thing is, Anders, is that it's never going to happen because nobody plays, nobody willingly plays nuke in matchmaking. Yeah, he's a very good point, isn't it? <laughs> Lucky. 30 seconds on the clock. He's got Sip on the other side. Probably trying to communicate to figure out how to do this. Sip going to try and make the entry. He's going to get one kill, but the problem is still the bomb is on his own here. Running past with the Tech 9 out. He's going to be going down, so 18 seconds. Sip just can't even slow down. He's going to be running right through. Trying to pick up the bomb. He's going to get one kill. Oh, what a clutch. Taking the triple at the end, and he just read that so well. He knew. Ah, uh, it's good to see him back. It's good to see him back, even though himself, you know, he's saying... He wants to play, Anders. He's not done yet. His career is not done. He just happens to be benched for now. So it's good to see that he's still got the, the clutch in him. Yeah, if he announced that, we'd have to make some sort of petition or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that's way too close. Yeah, it was. It actually would be fun to see a replay just of just how, how close, close he was. was. Now, the initial shot on Magus that killed him also tagged Bubsky. Down to 59, so it's uh, that in itself is, is fairly annoying. And look at what that aggression has done to Astralis. They're like, actually, let's just stay away from Yard. If Saibu is gonna, if he's gonna be mm -hmm. acting up like that, give him some space, you know, make him cool down a little bit. Acting a fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just freaking out out there. Now, inside of the bomb site, Kyojin is, can actually easily be isolated. That's a bit scary. If they smoke off Mini and Molotov Heaven, then he's having a battle entirely on his own. Waiting for Saiwo to maybe get back in here. 40 seconds on the clock. Kyojin, ooh, a bit proactive, taking down Lucky and continues the spray. What a nice double. And actually, he gets that third one, dropping up or tripling down on Dupree. That's a very cool little move, whatever, like the ski mask. Just How? I Is it know. that close? Unbelievable. Here we go, Bobski charging in with the AK. Didn't realize there's someone right next to him, but they still opened it up. Dupree follows in, taking down shots, and this is such a powerful play. Now the Molotov up towards heaven, locking them out. Wow, absolute knockout punch here for Astralis. And Saibu is very low on health, and there are more nades coming. <laughs> Sends him flying all the way into CT spawn. A little bit of a justice as they also explode Bobski, but not sure it's going to matter. Masuta realizing that... Yeah, there's someone down there. Did he see it? He must have seen the leg. Surely, what's mm. happening here? Yeah, all right. Here's the where. They want to save that AWP, but that is a cool ice-cold move coming out from Astralis. Yeah, and a totally different beast here from uh, Vitality in terms of individual performance, right? Last map, it was all about Apex, Shoxi, Zywoo just popping off. Misuda and uh, Kyojin not really having too much they can add to it. Uh, here, however, it is not the case. Misuda is top-fragging. Four Vitaster. It's so funny, isn't it? Disaster. <laughs> Looks like he's saying, like, the headache is right here in my forehead <laughs> from from losing rounds. I can't deal with it. Uh, oh, lucky rush. Saibu. <laughs> he's so aggressive. He's got Masuda behind him, but only for a second longer. Yeah. Saibu is still going to be sticking around. And they actually just move away from him. It feels a little bit like that's partly what Astralis are trying to do right now. So when they find out where he's like, just go somewhere else. And I can't really fault them for that. Why Why wouldn't you try to not fight Saibu? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Maybe he's on a mission outside right now. He has got so much real estate now. Does he manage to find a way in here? Dupree has taken down Shoxi. This is just setting up wonderfully for Astralis. Yeah, all they have to do is wait. They have clearly done their homework. They just have to wait. All the noise being made as well. Maybe he's going to turn the corner. Pretty easy kill, but he wants to try and see if he can do even more. Quick execute. They don't even... Oh, Saibu actually does get the flick here, but it doesn't matter. They're going to get wiped out. That is... You had to, like, sneak around. Throwing it out there, Snake. You had, you had to not shoot any. There was, like, a stupid mission where you couldn't shoot anyone. You had to plant, like, a microphone in the painting. Mm -hmm. I hated that. Yeah. Super annoying. But, uh... You had to do it, Anders. Yeah, Rainbow Six Rogue Spear, I believe, was the... Most people weren't born when that was out, I guess, but... It's fine. It's all right. Nine to four is the score. And we're in the 14th round, and Astralis look incredibly revived. They actually look so good right now. I'm... I, maybe I shouldn't be surprised, but I kind of am. I, I... My expectations for Astralis have kind of been on the low end, I guess. So, good news, I suppose. Dupree, 18 kills. Mm. 
All right, smoke wall up outside again. Different variation though this time around, giving a little bit more room to work with out here in the yard. In the meantime, Zaiwu, who has not been able to get those opening kills, he will get challenged, and Zipnix and Dufree working so well together. Shoxi and Zaiwu out of the picture already. They know the Kyojin's around here somewhere. Yeah, one of them hunting the opera, the other one holding the angle, just to make sure that no one else runs in. Just all very cool stuff. For Mas, up in the rafters. Get one, actually, what a beautiful double kill. That's way more than he should have got out of it. But he has to, and yes, he has to make a move. I know that looked a little bit funny, but if he stays up there and tries to reload the Famas, that's definitely also going to get him killed. So, fair play. Duel. And if he does see somebody, there's usually somebody else behind him to pressure it. So if he misses that initial shot, you saw he just gets hunted down. And it ends up costing him teammates as well. But again, total change of pace coming in here again from the Strongs. They just keep pressuring. Bob's key pushing through. If and, well, that's just completely opened it all up now. Man advantage for Astralis, full utility, and there's still a minute and a half left on the clock. And they're leaning so hard as well into the fact that the pre is playing so well. They're just saying, if you're, if you're feeling like that, let's just keep it up, you know, be aggressive out in the yard, take every fight that you can, because he's winning all of them, so... He's got 22 kills. Yeah, it's outrageous. He's doing a really good job. But now that he's slowed down a little bit, three on three. Ooh, Dupree actually spawning one guy up there. Saibu, so are they realizing there's a second man down at the bomb site? Shock's not that far away in the vent. He could be here in a matter of seconds. Good flashbang to set it up. That was Mega Scan. He even got the kill on Masutra as well. So Shock's now on his own. Really quickly into a one on three for him. And he's so low on health. There's probably nothing that he actually can do here. Looks like Astralis are well on the way for an 11th round. This is, I think, a really cool comeback after losing Overpass and not having really that much of a great performance. Tried to recover it, but really couldn't. This is a different uh, beast altogether. Mega's going to be going down, but he's just running out of time really swiftly. Does not have a defuse kit either on him. And that clock is ticking swiftly. Shocks. He's eventually going to fall. For Astralis, it means a lot to this team to play here, and they need to make it. But look at this. They fought back. It looked grim after overpass. You're thinking, oh, this is going to get rough. Well, it did get rough, but for Vitality. Lucky. Ooh, there's a duel he's in here as well. He's going to get one kill, but it buys some time for Lucky to not just get run over by the Glocks. Megas, though, trying his luck at facing Saibu, and it doesn't really work out. They have taken a lot of damage on that Vitality side. So three on three, sure. But with the USP and the health, you have to assume that Astralis are going to be slightly favored here. Should have every advantage now. Shoxy's on a man on a mission, though. And this is just going to come down to who is fortunate. Bubsky, did he just thread the needle past Shoxy? Almost. Get out of here. He's going to be exposed for a while, though. I mean, Shoxy just has to take one step back, and he still may have the chance. Oh, no but he's freaking done. way, Anders. <laughs> this is, he is playing one of those stealth missions. What is going on? I have no idea. Is Shox going to join him up there? He's going to have a heart attack. Yes. He, if he walks up now on top of the railing, he's actually just going to have a heart attack. He's He's got his back turned. This can't actually happen. He's right there. Oh, my God. He has no idea. Shark's just... He must just be so confused. <laughs> and Saibu now on his own. Probably equally confused. One versus three. He's going to find maybe, yeah, a free kill. Back for more inside of the bomb site. But Dupree will shut it. There you go. Oh. He might not even sort of get the full gravity exactly of what happened to him. It's like, he's going to have to watch the demo to figure out exactly how ridiculous that was. That's what's going to happen too, Anders. They'll watch that demo and they'll be like, oh, okay. True. Dude, what is this buy from Astralis though? Quad MP9s. We've got MP9s. Yep. Why are you even facing outside with MP9s? Yeah, I don't know. Get them while they're hot. I mean, Dupree's going to be here close quarters in Maine. He's got an AUG. Why isn't he the one taking a peek outside? If you're buying four MP9, just get the fifth one as well. Might as well, right? But you can't even get enough kills to make it worthwhile monetarily. Okay. Oh, what a sick shot taking down sick. That's what we like to see. Can he get another one? He is uh, maybe in danger of getting shot at the back. Yeah, Magus is sneaking up again. That's what you want to do with the MP9s, isn't it? Try and be aggressive like that. But um, with head armor, they don't just drop immediately. And, and a few of them actually do have the head armor. Shocks now running in from the one side. Magus feeling real lonesome. They basically had him triangulated in that ramp. And now it's a three on four. 40 seconds on the clock here. The fact that they have head armor still on at least two of the players here on the Vitality side makes those MP9s just a lot worse. Real interesting stuff here. But the Org has yet to be discovered or found out by anyone. 
Waiting at the squeak door, Bubsky feeling the pressure. Dupree gonna be going down. Bubsky's gonna be following into the grave. And with 20 seconds left, they're gonna get the bomb plant here. This is a huge round out of Vitality. It's a terrific round from Vitality. Absolutely crazy that it works out this way. And it just leads you kind of wondering, like head scratching. You have an AUG and it's in close quarters combat positions the entire time in the round. It's never taking a long range fight. <laughs> I mean, whereas you have four MP9s. And yet the MP9s are not the ones taking fights up close. I don't get it. Very weird situation there for Astralis. <clears throat> One thing I really enjoy with our setup, though, Anders, is that there's an ever so slight delay from what we see here to what the analysts see in the green room. So whenever there's a real spicy <laughs> shot, I just hear the, oh, you know, for, <laughs> from all the guys over there watching. So that Kyojin, that Kyojin headshot, that, that elicited a response. Maybe that's like a future upgrade. Analyst count. Let's, Let's get, get it, man. Come on. That'd be so sick. Although then that would mean we'd have a cam in the green room at all times, and you know guys are ironing shirts in there. They're getting could be dangerous. I'm not yeah, depends. Saying that could also be just good content. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Twelve to five. Vitality trying to stop the landslide. That's that's just pushing the village off the cliff at the moment. Hmm. Not easy, but um, it's a step in the right direction. This has obviously prompted a force buy out of Astralis. They have such a round lead that they feel like they can go for it. Lucky's got the MP9, Deagles and Kevlar. So it's like a weird half by kind of situation here for Astralis. And it's Vitality who are the ones right now just kind of holding angles. A little bit of noise being made in uh, lobby, but yeah, you can see that AUG has been recovered by Apex. And they're just posted up and waiting for somebody on Astralis to peek for information. An Apex. Got the right idea. Even though the Deagles are pretty good, you'd think the Org could still have some kind of an advantage in that fight. Meg is still lingering around that position. He's not really giving it up yet. I don't know. He could try and buy some time down there with it. If Vitality are going to slow play it and you have a smoke and they actually do turn up in that position, it could be interesting. 50 seconds on the clock. Majority of them are hanging around the lobby area. And yeah, I think he's just looking for that pixel gap and then he's gonna put up the smoke. But that actually does slow down shocks. And the rest of Vitality, 35 seconds. Not panic yet, but they probably need to make a move to try and get down to the lower site right about now. Only one person defending it at the moment and that's Magus with the Deagle. I don't think he can stop the entire Vitality team coming his way. But I'd love to be wrong about that. It would be exciting. 20 seconds now. No window has been broken. Oh, maybe. Yeah, one of them has. So he's going to be trying to sneak his way through. Bomb. We almost could have had it. But that moment has come and gone. And now instead, bomb planted and a three on five. Yeah. And really just going to be Astralis hoping that they can catch Shoxy or Apex. Uh, it's pretty unlikely Shoxy's out by uh, Secret. Apex is perfectly content to sit at ramp and it's not looking uh, like Astralis is going to be able to get much out of this but as far as Astralis are concerned I mean this is pretty much just a save round. Bubsky's back in CT spawn holding on to his gear and this was just a couple you know some deagles some Kevlar some nades for Astralis. It was an eco round essentially and we're going to get another eco round coming up here for Astralis as well so long road ahead of Vitality 12 to 6 in favor of Astralis but uh, Vitality now <laughs> right, that was nice. Uh, That's very cool. Vitality now, you know, at least on the board and at least with some money to be able to do whatever strategy they want, right? They're not going to be worried about grenades or anything like that anytime soon, Vitality. So they have to play the perfect game of CS from here on out, essentially. But they should be able to get up to a seventh round here because it's going to be a hard eco coming in here from Astralis. And I mean, this, this version of Nuke, which, which is the one that everyone knows by now, um... It does lend itself to some pretty impressive T-side runs. I mean, we just saw that from Astralis, so we have, mm -hmm. we have the evidence fresh in our mind, but wouldn't be surprised if Vitality could make this a very competitive map. For Astralis, though, the real question is, you know, how, how comfortable do they feel with this current lineup in, in their CT sides? And that'll be interesting to see. Simon that with a couple of kills. The worst guy to die to. Yeah. With cool. the MP9, 1,200 bucks bonus for Zywu just going straight into the op fund. And the one guy you don't want to have any more momentum at all. Just don't give it to him. He feeds all of that stuff, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Sharks on a mission. It's an AK. 
potentially risky if he ends up dropping it and giving it away. But, um, but I mean, the position is still really strong. And against the USP, it's going to be quick work. Rumsky and Dupree left and Dupree running out to try and escape the flames right into the Galil. Very curious to see who starts to wake up and starts taking over for Vitality right now because it's a true team effort on their side as far as kills are concerned. It's so even. Nice. Apex getting deleted by Bubsky though. So 10 kills on the board for Bubs. Uh, it's not going to change the outcome of this round one lick. Although Vitality may want to... I mean, if you're going to run somebody over there just to save the AUG, I mean, you could. Misuda is out there hunting right now and with an MP9, yeah, why wouldn't you want to go and pick up that, a, that a UG? Yeah, and they, they were even expecting, I mean, they knew the, if they wipe Astralis out here, Astralis has another round of eco, and Vitality are right back in the mix. So, quick change here from Vitality. Lucky point blank, though, takes down Misuda. Yeah. No vent drop, denied. Yeah, really good stuff there. I mean, it just a, a blind shot through the smoke and everything else, or at least the, the smoke that was just going up. But it works out just fine. A little damage onto the pre. I think he was standing in a Molotov for a second there. And this is a good, I mean, a good start to a round. Like you said, they finally are able to put together a round and a buy. Now they need to really follow through and, and win this one, get to 13, try and slow down Vitality before the momentum just spirals out of control. Apex, thinking about making, uh, setting up for some sort of smoke there, but he just decides to go down low instead. Setting up the wall probably close to mini. Yep. Oh, seemed like a big gap there. Yeah, if somebody was holding for main, they would have had a field day. Shocks. Not checking all the corners, but just sort of making an assumption that if someone was going to be there, they would have maybe peaked. So, can be risky. 40 seconds on the clock, and they haven't found the fight that they really would love outside. They'd love to make, bring it back four on four. That's an org on the other side, so Magus got to be a little bit careful that he doesn't get too bold in that position. Sip goes down, straight headshot from Saibu. Now 25 seconds on the clock, but almost getting caught with a knife out. Shocks is still alive. He's going to go down just the last bullet there. Dupree will take down Apex, and now they're running out of players on that T side. Magus with the kill. We all kind of got wiped out there. That was it. Tried to run down the clock and we didn't get anything to break our way in the round. And now Lucky's changed up his positioning, so we will get that ramp peak. Very similar, actually, to the to what we saw from Zaiwu on his half with that AWP. All right, Ooh, we'll a see boost if up. that works for him. <laughs> Don't mess around with that boost for too long. But I like the fact that they went for it. If you just do it rarely enough, teams will forget to check it. Do it all the time, and obviously, yeah, it's going to be instantly checked. Grenade a little bit too soon, but still, some good damage on the shocks regardless. Bomb is still hanging around lobby, trying to see if they get this crunch in towards the A-bomb site, but they're getting shut down hard getting into it. Bubski will do a lot of damage onto Kyojin, but not enough to get the kill. Lucky, realizing, yep, yeah, there's someone. Oh! That wasn't the shot. That was Misuta okay. instead going down. I thought for a second, too, that actually did connect. It was real close, it looked like. Kyojin, nice headshots are coming through right now, but they are so low on health, and the bomb is right in front of Magus, making it really tricky for them to recover the round indeed. They need another couple of those headshots. Lucky, looked like that was a straight setup, but Kyojin will still go down, and Magus, he's just ready for it. No shots is there, and it's able to draw us in there for Vitality for an instant, and then Astralis came to grips, and really, you gotta give it to the veterans, man, on this team. Debris and Magus between the the two of them, they are just racking up the kills on Nuke. And I guess I just cursed him because Magus just got annihilated by Shocks. And he was low already, Shocks. He ran into an HE or something, or maybe a Molotov. Mm -hmm. And he was running around the container. Oh, that is good. I would actually, I can't believe Shocks. I wonder if that shot looked just as sick from his point of view or it was just the, from Magus. That was crazy. They're walking out into the bomb site. That's so silent. They were deep in the site before anyone even knew. Surprising that the pre even got the kill there. Three versus three. Molotov will push Lucky a little bit further back. But it's going to be a bomb hard here for Vitality. They have so little information. You can see Bubsky is even worried about Secret right now. And Lucky was watching Secret as well. So they're really convinced that somebody is down there. The shocks he was playing from that position. But all three players for Vitality on the site. Zaiwu wins his duel versus Zip next. Zaiwu's just got Zip's number now. Yeah. And that's going to make them back out. They really don't have any money either on the Astralis side, so 
it makes sense to try and just save what you what you have and make sure that you, all you need is two more rounds, right? So in in the next eight or so rounds, just try to try to have money to to get some buys in there instead of having to force up and, and go for weird deagle buys and all the rest of it. Wow. Walking out of the hut onto the A-bomb site is a pretty rare sight. Let's see, this was Shanxi's perspective. Yeah, just fast. Just so, so fast. Quick. Right through the molly, catching them out. And this was beautiful work here. What a wonderful entry fracking from uh, Misuda onto that bomb site. Total blitz, and it works for Vitality. They buy themselves another chance. Zipnix is going to have to go for a deagle, some Kevlar. Not quite having the money. And so there's another chance here for Vitality to run it back. 29 kills on the pre, that's so outrageous. He is definitely having a game right now. No one else is even close to him. Yeah, he's the reason why Astralis went this far, to be fair. And the thing is that it's, it's it's what we saw from Astralis yesterday. Same kind of story, with except that instead of Dupree, it was Magisk, who just took over the game single-handedly. True. Now, if they could both do it, it'd be insane. Outside, there was a huge gap in the smoke, but they still managed to, to actually revenge that AWP. And that's really interesting. They're very low on health right now, but... It is a three on three, and with Shock still alive, he's really deep behind. He can make it a two on three just by catching Sip here, which he will. Sip is going to be a little bit annoyed. It feels like this has been a rough game for him. More damage onto Apex, but somehow he's still alive. And Shock's coming in for the backstab on Bubsky, leaving Dupree one versus three. Just like that, even the low health, it doesn't matter. They just wait, they hunker down, they wait for Shock to come and get the kills. All right. Are they just telling him, like, hey, we know where you are? I think they are. Oh, that's so good. Are you getting the message? Yeah, <laughs> are you getting the message? Just uh, F off. Get out of here. And Dupree, just with a deagle, <laughs> shoot it from the ladder, Dupree. <laughs> At least make some content. No, no. Let me spell it out for you in Molotovs. Yeah. Yeah, it does send a strong message, doesn't it? Well, this will be Vitality getting up to nine rounds. Similar vibes to what we saw from uh, Overpass yesterday, or yesterday uh, in the first map of this series, though, where Vitality were so far ahead and they were feeling pretty confident. You could tell in their gameplay um, that Astralis fought back, but Vitality were just able to grind out the remaining rounds. I still feel like there's that kind of vibe going on here where Astralis, they've still got that lead, and Astralis are not a team that, that tends to give up advantages once they have them. No, I mean, that's really something that... You know, in the in the, the absolute glory days, they were so famous for, right? Not making really any mistakes and picture perfect play. Right now, though, that three on three looked winnable, but no one had any real eyes on shocks. No one was really looking for it. That uh, deep flank through the ramp room, something rare. Zeus on on sit. Oh, sorry, on Dupree. Don't get to see that all the time. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> Apex can't catch a break here, but he's still got his. He's still got a kill. He got a kill. Yeah. And now Shoxy's gonna be out here to babysit that AK. Dupree finding a new, new angle for the Zeus. Looks like it's not gonna be in the right position, even a little bit. So that's tra that's tragic. Love to see it, but um, yeah, it's gonna be just walking out to the A bomb site, putting down the bomb and. Getting up to 10 rounds, which again is just quite impressive. Yeah. Battle against shocks out here. The USPs, they are real accurate. Why? I, I can always hear the analysts, I swear. I just hear them chuckling there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I don't blame them. This this game has turned into quite something, hasn't it? I was, I was not... Uh, didn't have a lot of stock in Astralis going into this. I really felt like it was going to be a little bit flat, but... Well, I mean, if you listen to the analysts, this that was the impression that you took coming into Nuke. Yeah. Where, I mean, it's it feels like Vitality are feeling very confident on the map, and they only lost to Na'Vi in the last few times that they've played it. So, right, Astralis are not Na'Vi right now, but, of course, Astralis are there doing the homework. Glaive is there. We see him in the background, so him, Zonic, the whole team are there. It also it means that Glaive could just focus up on Nuke saying, right, we know what Vitality are going to do, and we've countered it. There's enough tape now for us to review. Yeah, and no Orc, but they did, uh, did steal an AK, so that's that's cool. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maximum damage dealt to Shoxie and Apex outside. Yeah. Unfortunate. 
that slows them down. They really don't feel quiet. I don't think, I think there's a gap in the smoke as well out there. He actually pre-fired it, Simon. It looked like he just shot before he even crouched into the position. What a madman. What a mad lad. I actually, I would, I need to see that from his point of view. All right, boosting back up onto the rafters. Good idea. Trying to get out and, and just maybe make it a little bit harder for Vitality to guess where they're going to be at. They're setting up for a play in through Squeak. If they get down low, that actually maybe could get them something here. But they're not. Instead, they go straight for the bomb side, And that's actually worked out pretty well as well. Capri is down here. A lot of flashbangs coming his way, but he's not going to get any more than the one kill there. And now, at least, they should be able to get the bomb plant. There's his 30th kill, Dupree. 30 bomb. So brutal. And wow. there's Magus, though. He's chiming in. He's strong himself. Traded one for one. Went lucky up there with the AWP. Could be real hard to get into play. His teammate has been kind of pushed out from that smoke as well. Sip, does he want to try and go through? He needs something, but they don't have any more grenades. Nothing to flash them through. And they're backing out. They realize this is probably not winnable. Wow. I... It actually looked like Astralis were expecting for the for the B switch up, so they they pulled everyone out of the A bomb site, and it was just a pre left. They got in their own heads. They nice got call in their own from heads. Vitality though. Yeah, very straightforward for Vitality. That's what works. Just get together all four and crash onto the bomb site. But yeah, we saw that initial Molly HE combo did so much damage to Shox and Apex. Zaiwu getting traded as well. Beautiful shot there from Yasuda. That's actually the key one. They've really picked up on the fact that uh, Zaiwu isn't, uh, or rather, the ops. I don't want to say that. The ops in general these days aren't really operating alone. They usually have a rifler in tow. And uh, Bubsky going down there really did not help things for Astralis. Now we've got a great chance here for Vitality to get one round closer. 14 to 11. Vitality fully bought up. Astralis can't say the same. Oh, right. That's a long spray. Sip opting not for the spray, but just a single tap away. And yet Magus is there. He just four Definitely on four. Dead. This still, this doesn't help things for Astralis. No, but with the open play, I mean, you can, you could do a lot. The bomb is real far back. Lucky he snuck into a pretty aggressive position. That could be hard to read if you're coming around the corner and you are not paying attention. Could walk right into that shot. We'll see Kyojin. He's thinking about it. He's got the right idea. And, oh, wow. That is lightning fast. <laughs> Actually outrageous. When you give him time, I mean, Kyojin is having a great map. 15 kills so far for him. When he was pretty quiet on overpass, now he's starting to wake up. Yeah. He's got that individual aim. Anybody who's watched a frag reel of his knows. But uh, hey, turns out Dupree, he's got that AWP. I like it. I'm a fan of Dupree Orping. Maybe not full-time, but... He's capable. He does do a lot with it. Simon, though, on the other hand, that is a big task. Could he, Ooh, could he do it? He's almost walking into it. Saibu, though, very patient. 30 seconds left, and he's going to get the kill on Saibu as well. The bomb dropped by Masuta there for the revenge. Now, 38 seconds. Bobski pushed up far, and that's a bit of an issue. If you push into that A-bomb site, you don't want to be going back into hut to clear it. But maybe you have to. 19 seconds. Do they go, or do they go up down the vent? Big question here. They're thinking about it. Nope, but once again, it's the A-bomb site. And they are actually checking for that hut. They are aware that that could be happening. Heads up, play for Vitality. Molotov up onto the high ground. Misuta continuing the slaughter and dropping Sip and sneaking in his Bobski, but he's out in the open. He's going to get one kill. Didn't reload, but can't get Bobski. It's so Makes who emerges victorious in that duel. We will have the nades online now for Vitality and, well, full buy coming in here for Astralis. Both of these teams now. This is it. We're getting down to the wire. 14 to 12. And the full smoke wall. Everything committed out here for Vitality. Meg is playing super passive, back a garage. And Lucky, eyes on the bottom halls here. The stalls don't want to give anything away. Ooh, making a bit of noise yeah, here. Yeah, actually, heads up. That's being heard by a couple of people. Lucky and Megis go as well. Ooh, missed opportunity. And when you're that deep into the angle, you're not going to be able to retreat either. That feels like almost a free round. Yep. I actually... I mean, it's five in a row for Vitality. They have to be real careful about this, Astralis. It seems so ridiculous to save in a four on five, but when it's over that quickly, you probably can never get into a position where you can do a lot of work here. They get the kill on Apex, but yeah, they're already backing out. You have no money. That's the issue here. If you even have enough money to buy a couple of rifles, maybe you try and take a crack at it just to see. 
But that's a painful loss. Kyojin finding Dupree out of the open. Yeah. Magus is still out here in Garage. Zawu with an AWP, though, is not ideal. Let's see, Shoxi. Yeah, he senses. He knows what's going on. If they get Kyojin over there with the Molotov, that could be bad news. Although, ooh, he had it out, but he got shot on the side of the head. Zawu with the kill. And again, Vitality probably don't really care about losing most of these guns. Maybe the orb would be a little bit annoying, but... I think he's good now. Yeah, as long as they're trading equally and then taking some of these rifles away, it's all good for Vitality. 13 to 14. This is so incredible. The Frenchmen are making their way back. That's six in a row that they have managed to pick up. They're doing a very fine job at the moment. You know, they, odds are if you actually get a, bit, a good buy-in, even if it's 14-14, you probably win. Whereas if you force it up and do all kinds of weird things, it might not work out that way. Nice shot. Nice jump up. Sai was definitely in the server now as well. Could tell he's feeling a lot more loose at the end of this map. Gonna get that kill easily. And that was one of the rifles, I believe. So now it's Bubski on that M4A1. Mm -hmm. Really far away from the action at the moment. Oh, this is shaping up nicely though, I guess. Gonna get peaked and just deleted. And it is looking like they're just gonna be able to get down onto the lower side pretty quickly here, Vitality. Not a whole lot that Astralis can hope to do. Although Dupree, hero of the map so far for Astralis. Not going to be able to get anything point blank with the Deeg. And yeah, you can see Bubsky's up on Silo, so his, that rifle is not at risk. No, Kyojin though, I mean, he could he is could he go right? down. No. Oh, he's lost all his teammates. That's a, that's a bit of a shame, right? Because if Bubsky could have maybe found Kyojin, they could have stolen another rifle. Could have been, could have rolled it into something more. But now it's just about, I don't know, playing hide and seek with with Bob's game. Shox is up for it. Wow. <laughs> Silence is deafening, isn't it? I know, right? They're you're just, just sitting here and you're just thinking, okay, this, it went from an 11 4 half and we're tied up 14-14. Yeah. How did this happen, Anders? It's truly crazy. Oh, they've almost found him. Let's just see. They still have a couple of nades on Molotov as well. So even if Apex dies here, if they're quick about it, maybe they could throw them. He's going to stand up last second. He does spot out Apex, and I don't think anyone else can catch him now. They're a little bit too far away. So kind of a good job, Bobski, doing his best. <laughs> He's just so fortunate that nobody's there with Apex, because, I mean, yeah. taking that shot is just giving it away. Oh, he actually saw him wow. on the first jump. That is so next level. As I would. Well, my well, Sal is hoping that it's the org and orb setup, double org, in fact, trying to see if they can make that work. It is crunch time right now for both teams. Astralis surely must be feeling the pressure here. For some reason, they just can't finish this map. And now the question is, can they even survive it? EWP on Saibu, everything has been working out for the Vitality side. They have looked red hot in the second half of Nuke. Now they're walking towards the trophy room. They're Radio walking room. towards Lucky. Yep. They've isolated Lucky. Let's see if they are going to be able to make it past. If he can get a kill and fall back, that's fine. Flash is there. Timing, not quite there for the shot. Attempted wall bang. I like that. Didn't really hit anyone, though. And they are down real quick. Putting out the Molotov and into the smoke they go. Try and get down here and stop Vitality from putting that bomb down too quickly. Masuta, though, almost able to get the jump on him as you're throwing that nade on the other side. That would have been real cool. And now, Saibu playing with the door. Just making them nervous on the other side. I don't know if that had any other real benefit. And the bomb plant is going to be happening. Five versus five. Vitality, they've made their way down. And this is looking so impressive right now. Bobski can't see anything. They have another Molotov even. So, yeah. What are they're they doing? They're out. They don't even want anything to do with it. Oh, I can't wow. Believe this. They are saving. Nobody on Astralis wants to take a fight. Nobody on Astralis was looking to I'm, challenge Vitality to try and make a play there. Nobody wanted to be the one to throw a gun away. And in, to some extent, partly because of the nades, it was actually very hard to take a fight at some moments there. Fair, fair. I mean, those incendiaries in the lower halls would have made it really difficult to challenge. I mean, Lucky also, I mean, he gets one shot, right? If he doesn't get the timing right, that, yeah. that's it. You fall off the and corner. And he was flat. The angle. So it's like he, he had one oh. blind chance to do that. That must be a very hard... The opportunity isn't even there for him because he's throwing the nade, right? Wow, absolutely brutal. 30th round, ladies and gentlemen. It's 15 to 14. Vitality have won eight in a row, and they're looking to steal one last one away to stop Astralis from winning this map or even getting it into overtime. 
which is what they're really fighting for at the moment. That would be soul crushing if they could do that. I mean, I don't know. They're, it's going to be hard to recover for Astralis for sure behind that kind of a loss. Lucky all the way back here. He is all in on this position. He cannot escape. He's never going to make it out. So he has to take at least two of them with him. A little bit of a jump for information. And he's waiting. He knows Cy was back there somewhere. Oh, a little bit of a patience battle. <laughs> it just crushes him. Lightning fast. Down goes Sip as well. They're lining it up. Bobski. He's only going to get the one. They were stood on top of each other, but it's just not enough. You can even see Saiwoo just took a breath and waited until he was ready. And then he just struck him like lightning. Magus and Dupree, two versus four at the moment to try and hold on to the map. But it is looking very grim at the moment. Magus opening the door, revealing his position once again. And they're waiting for him out there. He's going to try and go for it. Nice headshot on Misuta, but the revenge is there and getting caught.